guys, so I wanted to do a review on a product that's been on the market for a long time. I even saw it when I was growing up. Never really paid attention to it because I didn't really need it. Um, if I keep looking that way, it's because my husband's standing over there. Um, so anyway, it, the company is called I M I B D, and um, they're, they're the, I, I believe they're the makers of that five-second nail glue. So this is just a product that I use um, in between fills or if you can't get your nails fills and you have acrylic or if you have natural nails and you just need it to be a little bit stronger. There's two things that I picked up. Um, first of all, the label's off of this little bottle only because it had like additional, you know, like lift here for ingredients and then when I lifted it, I took it all the way off. But, and also I wanted to do it anyway because I wanted to see how much of the product I had left. Um, just to see how many times I could really fill my nails. And actually, I've done it mm, at least three or... F uh, no, more than that. At least five or six times. Not every nail, but where it was needed. So anyway, the first of all, the website is www.ibdbeauty.com. And of course, um, I'm not sponsored by them. I'm not affiliated by them. I'm just talking about the product. So if you needed to find out what... Um, where they're sold, you can check so that anyway, website. This one is, there's two products that I, I'm going to talk to you guys about today. This is the Brush on Gel Resin, which is like gel glue, you know. Um, and then the Nail Filler Powder, which is kind of like, I'll give you some quotes from the website, but I use it, like I said, to fill my nails. So, as you can see, I don't know if you can really see, but I don't have, like, I haven't had my nails professionally not prof not in quotes, but professionally filled since I got them. I've been using this product. Um, so at this point, I have no more tips. It's just whatever acrylic was left and then this fill, which um, eventually I'm going to have to go and get, like, a new set. But I think I can carry this on for at least another month. And this has been at least two months of doing this. So um, all it is is a gel resin or glue and it has a brush to it. Um, this one is .20 ounces. Just has a little brush like nail polish but it doesn't run. Let me say. It doesn't run and it's you just brush on like you said like a, like a nail polish. You use this in conjunction with this nail filler powder and it has it's a shaker top I don't know if you could see that. I doubt you could see that. It's a shaker top. I don't know the ounces because, like I said, um, I did pull this off. But um, it's about this much left of product, and it was originally filled to the brim. So you just brush it on like nail polish to brush on gel resin. And then what I like to do is I like to take you know, like a piece of computer paper, printer paper, fold up the sides... So it becomes like a little tray kind of thing. You get the idea. But I fold up the side so it becomes like a little tray. And then I have my hand over it while on a flat piece of paper, on a flat table. And then just kind of hold it like this and dust, 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 dust. Like a salt shaker kind of thing, but not like this. Just tapping it. And when the powder comes out, it sticks to the glue. I leave it. I leave the extra powder that's there. That's to catch the extra of that paper to catch the extra. Um, and then I just brush it off like a, with like an old, totally abused makeup brush that I'm not going to obviously use on my eyes anymore. It's labeled for nails. So, and I just use that to brush it off. And what you're left with is like a rough surface, but it's not really rough. It's like as bad as rough as an emery board. Okay, so I brought it over. So it's as rough as this on your nails. You just have to buff it down and of course then you use an emery board to buff it down or a nail file to buff it down and then your nails are filled. Um, like I said, I've always seen this product and I want to say years and years and years ago I actually used this product um, to fix a nail because like I said, you can use this on natural nails. And it dries really quick. It dries like within a minute, not even a minute. Like, I don't know, when once the, the powder gets onto it, it will dry. Um, and I used it years ago, I believe, to fix 
a broke, like a severely broken nail, and it works, you know, and, and like I said, I'm not super rough on my nails, but I'm not like super easy, you know, I have the two boys, and you know, I'm always digging into stuff, and you know, cleaning and everything else, so I'm finding that I'm not having any issues with like a ridge right here, because you can see I have no ridge where you can see the acrylic is probably up to here and I've been filling this much. So you would see that definite bend in the nails if I had not used a filler. Not used a filler. And you can do a couple of coats. So once it's dry, brush off the extra. Then while it's still rough, just brush on more of the glue resin and then do the powder thing again. Pat tat tat. And it's good to go. Now, when you do take off your nail polish, you will sometimes see um, a little bit of lifting or chipping of the nail filler powder. But let, it's not acrylic. I mean, yeah, it's not acrylic. So it's an alternative to acrylic. So that's not something that it's long term. Or you couldn't... I don't want to say you can't do your whole nail with it. But... You can't really form a nail with it, like how acrylic powder you can form it with the with the forms. This will be a little bit harder to form a nail with just the powder and the. Resin. You can go to Harmons. You can go to Sally's. You can go to um, any of the more beauty store related um, drug stores, and they will have. Um, I don't have it here with me, but it's. It's called, I want to say it's called uh, nail wrap paper or nail wraps where they're kind of like five different sizes of little like finger nails. And they're square on one side and around where the, by the cuticle. And I use that actually to build this, <laughs> it's the middle finger, but it's, I actually use those wraps to build this fingernail. What happened was this one broke and I couldn't get it fixed. So I was like, let me use the powder system and the nail wraps to create a nail. So that's what I did. So, um, um, I'm really happy with this system. It's a good alternative if you can't get back every two weeks to fill your nails. If you can only go once a month. Um, oh, let me give you some prices on this. I'm not exactly 100% sure and there's not prices on the website. But when I bought this at Harmon, I want to say this, the, the resin was under $3, and the powder was under $4. Something around that. So, for under $10, you can fill your nails at home up to, like, I don't know, what did I say? Uh, I think I did it three or four times. No, no, I'm sorry. I've done, I've filled my nails... I don't know, I think I got it in the beginning of the summer. I got them done. So I filled them quite a few times. Anytime I change my nail polish, if I just go ahead and check if I need to fill it. And I definitely have a lot left. And if you're really savvy, you can, if you're using the piece of paper like this, definitely use something to catch it. I wouldn't use, or a paper towel. Um, a paper towel or this. To, or a piece of paper to catch the falling stuff and don't do it where there's a fan because the, the fan will obviously blow the powder back in your face or all over your house. Um, you can always kind of gather this up and if you want shake this onto another piece of paper if you want to save it and that way you can have this little bottle and you probably just need a little bit more of the gel resin. And you could probably be doing it for quite a few months. Um, I do love the, I do like the product. I've been using it for a while. That's why I didn't really tell you guys about it before. Um, I'm, and it's like I said, it's not a new system. It's not something brand new. I've, I've always seen it. And I've actually used it before. Um, so if you're interested, check out your, um, like a CVS might have it. I don't think Walmart would have it. I don't know. I don't think Target would have it. It'd be more of a beauty supply store, Sally's. And the website is also www.ibdbeauty.com. Looking at my cheat sheet. So, um, yeah. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you have any questions about the product, um, if I can't answer it and you can't find it online... Or if you can't find it online, check their website or let me know if you have any questions about how to apply it. Okay, because there's not really directions that comes with it. It comes alone like this. Alright guys, talk to you later. Bye!